This geothermic station uses a completely revolutionary technique involving the control of molten lava. I believe this technique will revolutionize the production of electricity as we know it today. All humanity will be able to afford electric power. Dr. Ragnar's daughter, you still have not responded to my consortium's offer. We wish to buy all rights to your discovery. I'm sure you do, Mr. Holston. However, I have no intention of selling anything whatever. Scientific breakthroughs are made by humans and belong to humans. I'll drink to that. At last, a discovery that can actually help humanity. I have a question. Are you quite sure your drill pits are strong enough to stand up to the earth tremors that seem to plague this region? I'm sure Dr. Ragnar's daughter has taken all necessary precautions, right, Captain Blake? Absolutely, but I admit I dislike these incessant earthquakes. Don't worry, gentlemen. Here in Iceland, believe me, we know all there is to know about earthquakes. Taking precautions is second nature to us. Don't worry, it's just a small tremor. <gasps> now let's go and look at the equipment. Anna, the steam pressure is down considerably. After that tremor, I am not surprised. The molten lava and then the steam are carefully controlled to provide unimaginable power at just the flick of a lever. Now, gentlemen, I shall access pure geothermic power. I'm very impressed, Dr. Ragnar's daughter. I assume that means you'll lower your offer? Certainly not. Even Einstein had his bad days, you know. Perhaps we could go over your figures tomorrow. Dr. Fuentes, say what you will, but you're not one of our leading skiers, and the charming Dr. Ragnar's daughter isn't fully qualified, financially or otherwise, to see this project to a successful conclusion, you must admit. I'm afraid you ivory tower scientists are not very practical. That's not fair. It's merely a stereotype. And... Oh, oh. <laughs> My company can test her process, and not only that, she'll need professionals to market it. No, with all due respect, I believe her discovery is far too important to be left in the hands of a single party, particularly one with a commercial interest. Of course, I'm sure she'd appreciate your help, but this idea absolutely must be shared, Mr. Holston. Well, Blake, do you think you can make him see sense? I'm afraid I'm only an innocent bystander, but there's a lot to be said for Dr. Fuentes' view. I'm far from certain that an industrial trust is the best way to sort out the problem. See? Good heavens, but the blade! Oh! Thank goodness you're safe and sound. We were afraid you were done for. Good grief, Captain. You're lucky to escape so lightly. It's all in your point of view. Honestly, Anna, I simply can't imagine what could have gone wrong. Your calculations are fine. Maybe we should go over them all again. No, Philip. You've done more than enough. Would you care to explore the village? It is just across the bay. I'll make a few purchases while I'm there. See those 
those rocks sticking out of the water? We call them the warriors of Ragnar. Ragnar was king of Iceland. He fought the Vikings fiercely until his last great sea battle. Legend has it that his ship was engulfed in a whirlpool, but his faithful soldiers were turned to stone, ready to come to life again when Iceland needs them. Look up there. Can you not see a head? An arm? To be absolutely honest, I don't know, I can't. Don't worry. Neither can I. By the way, King Ragnar wouldn't be one of your ancestors, would he? Dr. Ragnar's daughter? Yes, theoretically. Just as he'd be the forefather of a thousand or so other Ragnar's daughters and Ragnar's sons in Iceland. You may not know, but that's what those names mean. Sons and daughters of Ragnar. What a pity. I think you'd make an excellent princess. Thank you, kind sir. I'm sorry that landing was a bit rough. If you climb up to those houses, you will find yourself in the bustling cosmopolitan heart of Ragnar's Fadir. Another Ragnar? You'll find the store just above the village. If you like, you can catch a bus back. It leaves every day at 11. I'll see you at noon. And remember, you promised to wear full Scots regalia to dinner. Anybody here? I say. May I help you, sir? Oh, yes, thanks. I was just glancing about. Mm, so I see. Uh, and I was wondering if you could tell me something about this brooch. Ah, well, you've come to the right man. This item comes from the treasure of Ragnar the Great, who ruled... My good man, this is quite riveting, but Ragnar left this veil of tears 11 centuries ago. So I have grave difficulty believing you've kept this brooch in stock for so long. Uh, let's say it's inspired by authentic traditional Viking work. A wonderful job. An old hermit who lives up in the hills brings them in. They're exquisitely crafted works of art. Feast your eyes on these runes. What do they mean? Now, there, I'm afraid I can't help you. Nowadays, no one reads runes. How much would you charge me for it? How much are you offering? Thank you very much, sir. And have a nice day. Hi, wait for me. Delicious meal. This project is totally fascinating. That's lichen, an Icelandic specialty. To Dr. Ragnar's daughter, and to the success of her great discovery. And to fruitful cooperation between science and industry. Bravo! Gentlemen, I have an idea. We need to unwind. How about a sauna? You have a sauna? Here? Yes, indeed, and that's another advantage of my project. An abundance of hot water. Why don't you go down? You'll see what I mean. Well, let's go then. I'm game. Won't you join us, Philip? Well, I, um... Oh, Philip, do go. It's so relaxing. I'll finish my wine and be right down. That is a superb brooch. What? Oh, the brooch. 
I bought it in the village today. May I see? It's only a trinket, I'm afraid. The engraving says Ragnar the Great. It's certainly the right period. Are you telling me? It's over a thousand years old. Incredible. What a marvelous archaeological find for sale in a village shop. Tomorrow I'll track down that hermit. Who knows what else he found? is burning hot. I never felt anything like it. Is it not dangerous? Not really, but keep out of the deepest pools or you'll end up looking like a broiled lobster. Bridges and shreds. The rope, quick. It wasn't an earthquake. But why would anyone want to blow up the bus? It's the bridge they wanted. To isolate the research center. I'll warn Anna right away. I think I'll go back to the village. Wait a minute. I've seen that car somewhere before. The hermit! Hey! Wait! <laughs> Loki, that's a fine welcome for a visitor. Is that bird yours? In a way. Where did you find that? This gewgaw? You don't understand. That gewgaw could be an archaeological treasure. So that's why he's been prowling around here. Who do you mean? He's big and loud and he's got a broken nose. Hmm. I must be on my way. I hope we can discuss these brooches of yours someday soon. I'd like that. I could take you and show you where they are. More brooches? And not only that, there are treasures that would interest anyone, not just archaeologists. Is it far from here? No, it's near the station. All right, let's go. If you like. But we better go in your boat. Man your size would swamp my cockle shell. Anna, I'm sure something suspicious is going on. Um, these earth tremors are too convenient for words. And then I found this under the bridge, a detonator. You mean someone planted a bomb? Not one bomb, several bombs. So they could isolate the station. 
<gasps> you should lock up these plans right away. What do you mean? Whoever is setting off all these explosions is doing it for a reason. Do you believe the legend about Ragnar's warriors? <laughs> of course not. All his men were swallowed by a whirlpool. Their ship was never found. Here we are. It's up there. Yep. I see. And how am I supposed to get up there? Wings? No, just climb up the cliffs. It all seems normal. But Philip should have been back by now. Come in. Doctor, come, quick. What's the matter? I found something downstairs in the sauna. But what did you find? It's very odd. I can't begin to describe it. You have to see it for yourself. A research station this small simply isn't equipped to explore and exploit your great discovery as it deserves to be developed, Doctor. I believed I had made it abundantly clear that you must consider the subject closed, Mr. Holston. My invention will serve humanity, and that's final. Now then, where is it? Down this cleft. But try to imagine if the plans were lost or the research station wrecked by an earthquake. What would you do? The plans are in a safe place, and the station was specially designed and built to withstand tremors. What would happen if you had an accident, a serious one? Accidents do occur. What are you driving at, Mr. Holston? It couldn't be simpler, madam. <laughs> it's you? Blake warned me to watch for sabotage. Rest assured, I'll take care of that fine fellow. But first, it'll be a pleasure to deal with you. <laughs> <laughs> Help someone! Help me! Anna! Your blasted net tore, I'm trapped! I don't understand, it was a strong net! Listen, hurry to the research center and tell Captain Blake what happened and he'll handle everything! I'm leaving to fetch some more nets! It won't take me more than a half an hour! No, I tell you, get Captain Blake! Do you hear me? Hello? Are you there?
many shots. It was only a burglar, but a very notorious burglar, I'm afraid. What do you mean by that? I mean, I think my old enemy Ulrich is somewhere in the neighborhood. Center. Alert the captain! The rocks and stones! Keep on like that, old fella, and you'll be telling us fairy tales next! <laughs> <laughs> My rope ladder broke! <sighs> Should've used nylon! <laughs> I need some help! <laughs> <laughs> Center quickly. Yes, the Geothermal Research Center. Hello? May I speak with Professor Holston? Professor Holston, it's for you. Will you excuse me, gentlemen? Yes? Hello, Colonel Ulrich. I think I've tracked down Mortimer. Oh, yes. Where exactly? Down a crevice. A witness says he can't get out of it. Where do you say? Oh, we would need a boat. Thank you, my friend. Ah, well, I believe we have located our missing Mortimer. Where is he? Who was that? A villager. Apparently our colleague is stuck in a nearby fjord. I'll take the launch. No, we shall take the launch. Let's go round the point. As you wish, Captain. As you wish. I believe this place will do just fine. Uh, Mr. Halston. What? Haven't you forgotten something? <laughs> Your gun, Colonel Ulrich. Oh, I don't think so, Blake. Where are Mortimer and Dr. Ragnar's daughter? My dear Blake. Stop right there. Their lives will soon be over.
by Jove. Legendary Drakkar of Ragnar. Anna! Anna? Can you hear me? I do hope they will have found Professor Mortimer. Gentlemen. Professor Mortimer is safe and sound. Where is he, then? And Captain Blake should be here, too, though. Exactly. Follow me. Come in, please. I cannot see anything. What are we looking for, Mr. Holston? Your beard! But your... Here we are once again, Professor Sato. Colonel Ulrich! <laughs> I must find a way. Must warn the others somehow. How much longer, Chief? Oh, half an hour should do it. And then, boom! We haven't enough to blow all this up. You're wrong there, Sharky. We're right on top of one of the most unstable sites on the planet. Nature will do the rest. This is all very, very strange. By the Tartan of Clan McGregor! Stay where you are. to destiny. Anna! Anna! And the wind shall rise, and then empower the ship. Is that? Philip! 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 Philip, I'm here! Francis! What are you doing there? Jump down! Come on, jump! It's now or never.
Good to see you, Francis. Bit chilly for a midnight dip, however. And I forgot my swimming trunks as well. Mm. There. Now what? Ragnar's warriors! Raise up the winds now! Now you stop that. Good heavens, I'm getting too old for this sort of thing. But they won't get away with it, or I'm not Ragnar Ragnarsson. Quick, give me the plans. Now, we only have ten minutes, and after that... Boom! <laughs> Go and get the helicopter. I'll join you out on the Barrens. Um. <laughs> Incredible. But what is it? Ragnarok. Thor. Sketa! My island is endangered. Are you Ragnar? Anna? Earth, fire, air, water. Go away! Go away! Leave this place! It's going to explode! They're blowing up the center! What's going on? A small diversion arranged by Mr. Halston. Or, I should say, Ulrich. Ulrich? Right. In person. That explains a lot, then. Look, Snaefell is erupting. The entire country is endangered. The battle between fire and ice commences. To the fire, and to destiny. What's the point of this sorcery? Look there, Francis. Ragnar's warriors. Anna seems to have awakened them. Let's go, Philip. We must save the others. Hey! I'll come with you! <laughs> Where did that come from? Give yourself up, Ulrich! <laughs> Never! coming right towards us. Francis, we'll see to the center. Very well. Then I shall see to Ulrich. Take the revolver. You may very well need it. Sato, Fuentes. Mr. Einar.
They've rigged all the equipment! What are you doing? Be careful! I'll have to be careful or it will all blow up. He did come this way. Quick! We don't have much time. Oh, be careful! We have no choice, my friend. We now have less than a minute. Only two wires are really connected to the bomb. The others are surely a trap. But which ones? The red? The blue, the orange. <gasps> Unless ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Bravo, Professor! As a child, I used to set the clock back when I wanted to stay up late. Security system. We can't breathe in here. Help! Help! Oh, my great warriors. Onward and fulfill your destiny! The lava stopped. Good heavens! What is happening? We all heard it. The volcano rumbling. We're out of danger for the moment. I should explain later. I admit I am somewhat surprised to see you again, my dear Captain Blake. But it will certainly be for the last time. Would you kindly place your gun on the ground? And now, place your hands above your head and walk toward me. A bit warmer than the bath you planned for me, Ulrich. Miserable scoundrel! You win this time, Captain, but the next time you won't escape me! Get away! Get away, blast you!
Oh, well. I suppose it'll be back to the drawing board. Big nice warriors! These are for you, my daughter, to remind you of me. You will watch over my descendants. I must now return to the Land of Shadow. Uh. Anna, are you all right? Philip, it was the strangest thing. The warriors! The warriors! Come and see! They've stopped the volcano! Come quick and see how they... Oh, and what have we here, then? There are enough important artifacts there to furnish a museum in Ragnar's honor. True, but who will have the time to do it? I have an idea about that. The center. The plans. I think we could all work together on them. And we would have no need to keep secrets from one another. I shall be pleased to provide our research center at Tierra del Fuego. Show to Ragnar! <laughs> <laughs>